I'm going to show you guys how to replace a propeller underwater and the first thing that we need to do is inspect the old propeller so after looking at all the blades we identified one of the blades as having some damage so the first and most important thing is to set up all of our tools and the propellers on the dock so it's easy for us to access these are 24 inch jumbo crescent wrenches from Harbor Freight we have t lanyards on all of our tools just in case we drop anything uh, we don't want to waste any time or don't want to lose anything so for these two propeller nuts they were actually seized together so I had to set up these two wrenches and had to block one and use it up uh, press it up against the hole to break it free so let's go ahead and remove the propeller nut the second one we're just going to back off so that the prop doesn't fall off of the shaft now let's grab our prop puller. So this is a chain puller. This is a Walter 2N prop puller. In this case, the second prop puller plate would not fit between the prop and the strut. So we took all thread and welded chains with hooks to them so that we can hook the prop with zero clearance. So you want to go down and just tighten everything down evenly. That's the most important thing is the setup here. And once you do get all that set up evenly and everything looks straight, go ahead and give a couple turns on all of the all threads to get it uh, seated properly. Let's go ahead and tighten those down. And you might have to block up the uh, prop. So throw a block under there so, so it stops the blades from turning. Then you can continue tightening everything down. Once you get everything tightened down, just go around in a clockwise pattern and just go ahead and tighten everything down like three turns, three or four turns. You want to make sure you're pulling evenly and you want to wait in here for this sound. That's the sound of success. So once we got that and we uh, ensure that the prop is actually loose, we can go ahead and get this chain puller off, start backing everything off. So once we get the chain puller off of there, next thing to do is go ahead and tie up this prop so that we can remove it. Again, lanyards on everything, everything's tied off, making sure that uh, we're not going to lose anything. And you can see where that uh, propeller nut there, um, we just backed it off to prevent the prop from sliding off um, when that thing busts free because there's a lot of tension behind that prop puller so once we do that the next important thing is to s turn the prop so that the key way is facing up that's very important you don't want to lose that key and you won't have another opportunity to do this so make sure you do that before you take the propeller off it's very difficult especially with the bigger propellers and the heavier propellers to get it back on there and then turn the shaft so let's pop this old key out and grab the new prop. So with the new prop, what you're going to do is slide it on the shaft. We're going to see how far up the shaft it goes without a key in there. We're just going to make a little mark. A grease pencil works great. In this case, I forgot a grease pencil, so I used a knife just to put a small scratch in there. So we're going to put the prop back up on there, grab the key grab the new key and grab the sledgehammer get that tapped in there and seated properly you may have to tap it in the keyway and uh, just get it adjusted you don't want it going too far so in this case we went a little bit too far and we're just going to tap it back into place so that's all good secure and ready now let's grab the new prop fit it in there and take a look now this prop did feel nice and tight it was actually close to being seated um, to our original mark and I can tell that with the once we tighten these uh, prop nuts down it is gonna force the prop to sit uh, where our mark was in some cases you may have to take the prop back off file down the key and then slide the back prop back on you have to re redo this entire process a couple times but we got pretty fortunate so we're gonna hang our tools here slide our block back up so that we can continue tightening down these prop nuts now sometimes with these prop nuts you really have to 
get get as much leverage as you can. You really have to get into some weird positions. Sometimes even putting your feet or fins up on the hole to kind of give you some more leverage. But you really want to make sure that these prop nuts are torqued down pretty tight. So once that one's on, we can grab our second prop nut, spin that guy on, and then repeat the process. Make sure we get lots of torque on here. You do not want these coming loose. So once we got that one tightened down, we can go ahead and do the last step here, which is put the cotter, pe cotter pin in the shaft, and then bend the cotter pin out. And you want to make sure that you have these bent backwards as much as possible so that there's nothing getting hung up on here. And there is a final look at the propeller. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and dive safe.